Welcome to our Tasks View video in our Quarter Go video series. In this video, we'll discuss how to add and edit tasks or squawks, as well as adding and editing steps. I'll also look at claiming tasks as a technician. Users can edit a discrepancy by clicking on the discrepancy they wish to modify. If we need to modify the discrepancy text, we can go to our right-hand menu, click on Edit Task, and modify the discrepancy text here. In this window, we're also able to change the department, add or modify existing zones, as well as add or modify the ATA code that's associated with the task. If we have user-defined fields set at the squawk level, we are also able to add and modify these as well. To add a discrepancy, users can also navigate to the right-hand menu and click on Add Task. This is done from within a task the user is already working on. To add a task, Quartergo requires an association reason by default. This is populated as a result in Squawk, though additional reasons can be added within Corridor. To add your new task, simply type in the discrepancy of the task, fill in any additional information before clicking the Add button. If the user selects the Create Another checkbox, they will be able to add an additional discrepancy after this without dismissing the open window that they have available. Users will also be able to click the Assign to Me checkbox in order to automatically have this newly created task assigned to themselves. Once finished, they can click Add. To add a step to a discrepancy, users can navigate to the discrepancy for which they want to add a step, go to the Steps column, and click the plus sign to add the step. We'll start by adding the step description. Once the step description has been added, the user can add or modify an ATA code, the department, zone, or add any additional notes they want to this step. The user-defined fields are also available for steps, so if we have any created for the steps themselves, we can go ahead and modify these as well. Like the squawk, the user can have this newly created step assigned to them, and once finished, we can go ahead and click Save. All of the steps added to a specific squawk will appear under the Steps tab, however, they will also be viewable in the Tasks view. Back on the main screen, we can see that the discrepancy to which we added a step now has two footprints on the bottom right-hand corner. This will indicate that there are steps associated with it. We can view the steps as a separate tile, just like a discrepancy, by navigating to our filter and making sure that we enable the Include Steps and Substeps checkbox. Once that's been enabled, you can go ahead and click Apply. And we can now see the Step tile that will show up. We can see that the Step tile is identified with one footprint on the bottom right hand corner of the tile, but we'll also see the Step number identified here so we can see that it is pertaining to work order 717, item 3, squawk 1, and it is step number 1. Additionally, when we click into the step tile, we will be able to navigate to the parent task or the discrepancy to which the step pertains by clicking the parent task link. This will take us back to the squawk so that we can go ahead and either add additional steps or continue our work. If I navigate back using the home button, I will see my newly added step appear as one of my tiles. When viewing a step, notice on the bottom right hand corner of the tile, there will be one footprint indicating that it is a step. A squawk that contains steps will have two footprints on the bottom right hand corner indicating that there are steps associated with that squawk. Like the squawk, steps can be modified by clicking on the tile, navigating to the right-hand corner, and editing the task. Lastly, users can claim tasks by clicking on the checkbox on the top right-hand corner of each tile. Once all of the appropriate tasks have been selected, navigate to the right-hand menu, and click Claim. Thank you for watching this task view video in our Quarter Go video series. In this video, we covered how to add squawks and steps, how to modify those existing squawks and steps, as well as claiming the different squawks and steps that are created. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.